all this right here washed out washed away these videos shared on Facebook this Monday by Carson Hardman, the resident of this home here on the corner of Redwood Road and Mountain View Corridor. Rushing water spilling over a nearby retention pond in Saratoga Springs, the Hardmans say, has caused problems before. This is the second time that pond has breached. Laura Hardman, who built the home with her husband 50 years ago before all the encroaching development, says everyone's pointing fingers and nobody's helping them solve the problem. The city passes it off. So somewhere there's a breakdown. Saratoga Springs responded to Sunday's flooding, but told me today that pond causing the problems here for the Hardmans is private property. But Laura believes they need to take some responsibility. Yeah. It's just clay. Yeah. And that's that doesn't hold back a pond that size. Right. And so last night we have all of this yeah. flooding and it got into the house, it got into the apartment, it got into the gym. Everyone's just pushing the whole entire situation off onto someone else. Carson runs a gym that serves about 100 people in the community right next to their home where he lives with his wife and son here on Lehigh's west side. It's property that's been in his family five generations, but in recent days living here became much harder after their running water turned brown. It has been compromised. There's mud flowing into it. You can see the construction project going on behind me here by UDOT on busy Mountain View Corridor. It's a project that the Hartman family believes has caused their private well to become contaminated. I've reached out to a spokesman for the Utah Department of Transportation who tells me they're aware of the situation and they're now looking into it. In the meantime, Carson and his young family are using bottled water and running to friends and neighbors to shower. No one's taking ownership and wanting to help us out with that. And same thing with the flood. Laying his own gravel on the washed out road to his gym, cleaning up the damage done this weekend, Carson and his family say they just hope to find a solution soon. Just make it right. Like mistakes happen. I get it. Sometimes we get a little anxious and we want jobs done. Totally understand that too. Just, just make it right. We now have what I call chocolate milk out coming out of our faucets. All right, so you're hoping to try to get that fixed. ASAP, that would be great. Reporting in Lehigh, Amy Nay, Fox 13 News, Utah.